It's rainy out. But I knew this was coming. So guess who went out early and got her shopping done? No, I... I knew I wanted to go out because the rain's supposed to get worse later today. Or at least that's what they were calling for yesterday. I haven't checked the weather report today, so I don't know if the rain warning's still in effect. Yeah, look, rainfall warning still in effect. Um, approaching low pressure system, expected move into the area. And persist until tomorrow morning. Total rainfall amounts 30 to 40 millimeters expected. Um, thankfully, though, we are in a higher area, so I don't expect any flooding up here. But they are warning keep children and pets away from creeks, creeks and riverbanks. So, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty wet for the next little bit. So I was like, I will go out early today and get my necessary shopping done. And to plan for this, I tried to plan out, because I knew I wanted to make at least one big meal today. So last night, I sat down and I figured out what meal I wanted to make. And I found, um, I, the place I decided to check was actually like my Pinterest food board. And I found this loaded chicken and potato casserole that looks absolutely fantastic. And everything in it is stuff that I like. Right? So I was like, perfect. Big dish, big baking dish. I've got one of those. So my plan is to make up this, this chicken potato dish. I haven't had potatoes in a while either. So I was like, oh, this seems really good. So thank you, Pinterest, for saving me on that one. So I wrote down the recipe and then I wrote down briefly some other things that I wanted. For example, I'm telling myself I should be having an apple a day. So, uh, I'm planning all of this because I looked at my schedule again, and I have Friday and Sunday off next week. Because I thought I had, like, a day earlier in the week. No, I work from Monday to Thursday, and then I have Saturday. And Saturday is sort of a longer double shift because I also have my first walking tour of the season that day. With people actually signed up for it, so that's fantastic. So I was like, okay, I can do this. I just need to plan ahead. And it was sort of funny because my grocery bill was higher than it was previously and I was like, that's weird. And then my head was like, no, because you're actually planning ahead. Like you're getting everything you need for this big meal along with several other things that you know you can do quickly. Like I got some hamburger meat because I could just make up some hamburger meat Boom, I've got tacos or nachos for the rest of the the week, right? So I was like, no, this makes sense. You are doing the correct thing. But as I was out shopping today, I had this realization that I need to slow down. Because right now, I'm, I've got that feeling that like if I'm not doing something immediately, then I'm not getting anything done. Like, if I'm not constantly working on things, nothing's getting done. That's not true. And in fact, taking breaks is a critical part of actually being productive. Because if you're constantly, constantly, constantly trying to go, then you're going to hit a burnout point where you're just not getting anything done now because you pushed yourself too hard. So I had this realization come in bits and pieces today because I was driving to the grocery store and the grocery store I like right now since I'm not using Costco because space the grocery store I like is like on the opposite highway entrance so my city has like multiple entrances onto the 401 highway and there's sort of two well one beyond me from where I get on, but it's it's the far one out I go to. So literally the easiest thing to do, especially on an early Sunday morning, is hop on the highway, go to the far highway entrance, exit the highway, and you're right there at the store. But the Walmart's there too, and that's where I've been finding 
shoes that I actually like. So as I am driving, I see the Walmart and I'm like, why am I telling myself this is something I'm going to do after work Tuesday? Why can't I just go in and get shoes now? But the realization really hit me when I was in there. Because, like, my head was just going, like, go for shoes, go for shoes, go for shoes. No, I want to take a look around. I want to look in their book section. I want to look in their video game section. I found Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So I now own Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse because I said I was going to buy it when I saw it. And I did. And I resisted buying a bunch of other video games. <laughs> I didn't buy any books either. But I got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And then I went into the shoe section. And again, that realization hit me. Because it turns out the store is in the middle of a switchover. So things are a little chaotic right now. And I was trying on some shoes. And I could find ones in my size. Because thanks to doing walking tours and standing on my feet because I work retail, my feet have actually gotten bigger. So like I found the size that I needed. But I wasn't finding shoes that I liked. And then I saw that they have a pair of shoes that I used to have that I really, really liked. Because they were nice, they were comfortable, they were good for walking tours. And I was like, excellent. And I found one in my size. But when I say I found one in my size, I mean I found one. <laughs> I found a single shoe in this style in my size. And like, with how stressed I was, I was like, great, perfect, everything's ending. And then my head was like, stop that. What are you talking about? Like, go ask somebody for help. And that was literally it. There were a couple ladies working in a section very close by. And I walked up to them and one looked over and goes, need help finding the other one? And I go, yes, please. And she found it almost immediately. It was in the next row over. She then explained, we're in the switch over. It's a little chaotic. I said, no worries. I understand. I also work in a store where we just had a big switch over. I get it. Thanks so much for helping find the shoe. Like, I need to slow down and ask for help when I need it. Or else I would be standing in the aisle still with a single shoe, never having thought, check the next aisle over. So then I actually got to the grocery store and did my grocery shopping, missed a couple things, had to backtrack. I'm working on it. But then again, I slowed down. And I was passing the Joe Fresh section, which is all the clothes. And I saw some shorts. Because the person that runs the walking tours at my business just confirmed to me that we're not having a set uniform this year. Because a lot of walking tour places don't do that. There is a dress code that I have to keep in mind. But the only requirement with pants or shorts or anything on your bottom, but it can't be a skirt, so it's gotta, it's gotta have legs. Uh, it can't be more than an inch above the knee and not the ripped style of jeans. So if I just have some perfectly good jeans, I could do that. But I was like, I would really like to have some actual shorts. I found some shorts. I found some shorts. Because I slowed down and took a look, gave it a chance, and went into the change room and tried it. So I found, I found some shorts. Um, so initially I grabbed this black pair. And it's just, again, basic shorts, but they go to my knees, which is fantastic. I might just be comfortable wear a belt with them. And if I spot a really cute belt, I'm going to get a really cute belt. And then I picked up, because I always should buy two, I went for this rustic green color. Because we still have the hats for my walking tours, which are bright green. Because originally the, the shirt and a hat were also bright green. And I asked, like, are we still doing the hats? And he said, like, you don't have to wear it. Like, you can attach it to the backpack. And I prefer wearing the hat because it keeps the sun out of my face. Uh, often gives away how sweaty I am because that poor hat. But I was like, yeah, okay. So I've got the hat. So green would work. So I've now got shorts and shoes for work. 
all because I slowed down. And then I was thinking about spices. And I was like, dude, I live right near a bulk bar. I'm not gonna buy super expensive packs of spices when I could just go to the bulk barn and put the dollar store right next to it. So go into the dollar store, get the little spice jars, go into the bulk barn, get the spices. So I did that. And I again had to slow down because the bulk barn opened later. Like I was out earlier, bulk barn opened at 10. I got there at like 9.30. So I was like, time to go into the dollar store because I need these spice jars. Well, I'm slowing down. I'm taking a look around. So I picked up some other things that I needed, right? Like a lot of the apartment is wood floors, which I really want to both keep up with sweeping and mopping. So I know we have a broom. I know it's one of those ones that detaches from the handle. So I got a mop head for it, right? Makes sense. I got my spice jars. I'm trying to remember what else I got. I got, um, you can see up there, I got a watering can because I'm, I've got some pots already. I've got some soil already. So I'm gonna, into May, um, put together some potted plants. Have them out on my porch. So I got a watering can for it. I also got that lilac candle. I sort of treated myself to that one because my family home used to have a lilac bush out front of it. And so I saw lilac and I was like, I wonder if it really smells like lilac. And I opened the candle lid. Like I can't light it. I have an apartment, right? But I opened the candle lid and just the smell of lilac. And I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do that. And then I also found freezies. Um, I ate a lot of these freezies in my last apartment the summer, in my last summer, in my last apartment, and then introduced my parents to them last summer. We absolutely, all three of us loved them, but they stopped carrying them for most of the winter. And when I was there today, they were in like the impulse buy section as you're going to the cash. And I was like, that's not even an impulse buy for me. That's just a thing that I want. So, I'm actually kind of really happy because it's only 12.30 now when I'm filming. But not only have I gotten all the shopping done, including getting myself shorts and shoes for work, I have laundry in, which I will go switch out soon. And when I switch it out, that's going to be my first load done, my last load into the wash. I cleaned the fridge out today before I put my new groceries into it and the freezer out. Like I've actually gotten quite a lot done today. I don't think it's going to be a filming day. Like I think I can fully admit that because there's still some chores around the house that need to get done. Like I should do dishes. I need to clean the cat litter pan. I don't think it's going to be a filming day. But that's okay because I've gotten so much already done. And I'm really proud of how much I've actually gotten done. So, I'm gonna go switch the laundry and put the dry stuff away. And then I guess I'm gonna have lunch. Lunch will probably be the next one before I do anything else. That sounds like a good plan. So I will talk to you later when I have slowed down again. Take a lot of breaks. Take many breaks, do many things. Everything will work out. Talk to you later.